movement here. This is what you need to know for the day. This is your angelic message to take with you, to contemplate, to see how your day unfolds. So the number here is 28. Now, normally when we say reduce in angel numbers, we would, we add two and eight, like in numerology as well. It's not like the mathematical reducing. Okay. Does that make sense? All right. So this would be 10. That gives us the, the feeling of completion. So the card is movement. What is fascinating about this? And I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there's like a whole little world here on the back of this ostrich. Okay. Uh, whole big world. And what that tells me is like, we don't have a clue of what's out there. We don't have a clue of what's really going on. Now, imagine you're a being that's just existing in this little part of the world and you think that that's all there is, right? That's all there is. Now, because this says movement and yesterday we had mountain, mountains don't move, right? Um, this is feeling like, okay, in a weird way, you're uprooting everything and carrying forward. That's for some of you. As always, if you want a personal angelic message, you want me to tune into your energy field and I will give you mostly a read on your soul's contract. That's in my experience with the angels, that's usually where they guide me. So doing a read on your soul's contract, seeing where you are at this time and what tools that you need to live your highest potential, to live your best existence that you can at this time, okay? That does not mean that everything is perfect. You still have lessons to learn, but it'll help you come through those things, help you get through the lessons. So you're realizing, okay, if I am feeling stuck and have been feeling stuck, I have to, it's all about expanded awareness. I have to broaden my mind. I have to not just go in and focus on what's going wrong, right? I have to allow everything to stand up and keep going. They're saying you're the bird, <laughs> that was funny. You're the bird, okay? Um, like this is that kind of thing where the ostrich might feel like, um, I don't know, like it, it, like it couldn't move, like it was trapped, and then it finally got itself up and started moving. So you're doing that. You're picking up everything and you're moving forward. There are so many layers to this message here because a big part of this is realizing that. I don't know what's coming, what's going to, or how it's going to look, but what's coming through is that you're becoming more and more aware that things are not what they seem. It's not just what's in front of you, <laughs> right? It's not just what you've always known. This makes me feel like other realms are starting to come closer to our frequency to be perceived. Let's leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.